welcome to Erasmus Days 2020 at Lobachevsky University. My name is Irina Leonova and I'm happy to represent today the Faculty of Social Sciences of Lobachevsky University. This year Erasmus Days 2020 is a perfect uh, occasion for us to present our international Erasmus uh, programs uh, that bring value uh, to them and give more attention to the internationalization processes that are on the way at our faculty. Can you only imagine more than 3000 events in more than 67 countries all over the world? And this event is one of these events. But first of all, uh, let me just give you some information about, about who we are and what we do. Uh, the Faculty of Social Sciences is uh, a part of a vibrant community of a national research university named after a great mathematician Nikolai Lobachevsky. Uh, Lobachevsky University uh, was established in 1916 uh, in a very beautiful city of Nizhny Novgorod at the confluence of two great Russian rivers, the Volga and the Oka. The Faculty of Social Sciences is not that uh, old, it was established only in 1997, but since its establishment it has become a vibrant centre of international academic and scientific life. Several European international projects were developed at our faculty, such as uh, Tempus projects, Aeronet projects, and now we are running three big Erasmus projects at our faculty and we are going to speak about them today. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Amon Cheskin. I am a senior lecturer at the University of Glasgow and the director, academic director of the International Master in Central and East European Russian and Eurasian Studies, of course a Erasmus Mundus degree. And I wanted just to very briefly introduce the main contours of the programme and say a few words of introduction about it. So thank you for, for uh, showing interest in the degree and hopefully I can explain a little bit about it. This degree has eight international partner universities, degree awarding partner universities. I just wanted to introduce you to them here very briefly. We have Corvinus University of Budapest in Hungary. We have the University of Glasgow here in the UK, in Scotland. Ilya State University in Georgia. Jagiellonian University in Krakow, Poland. Kimep University in Kazakhstan. Uh, Lobachevsky State University of Nizhny Novgorod in Russia. Uh, the University of Sarajevo in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And finally, the University of Tartu in Estonia. So one of the great uh, benefits of this degree is it's very international. You get to study in three different countries, three different education systems, and you even emerge with two degrees, one from the University of Glasgow and Tartu jointly, and a second degree depending on where you spend your third mobility. So that could be in Jagiellonian in Poland, Corvinus in Hungary, um, Ilya State in Georgia, Kimep in Kazakhstan, uh, University of Sarajevo in Bosnia-Herzegovina or Lobachevsky University in Russia. So that's quite something and our experience shows that this is a big plus. When you look for jobs and you have your CV and employers, future employers, see your experience, you haven't simply gone to one country, uh, you've gone to three, that's a big plus and this is some feedback we get genuinely uh, from students who've graduated and from employers who look at the degree. Uh, it's difficult. This degree is a challenge because you have to move around so much. But the benefits are huge. You get to meet so many different people and have so many different experiences that it makes you a really employable uh, person when you are a graduate. So you start off, everybody starts off at the University of uh, Tartu in semester one, where we have introductory courses and the cohort starts to bond because this is quite a small town in Estonia, a very cute town and 
Uh, the, the, the cohort can be quite big from about 35 students uh, this year from all over Europe, Latin America, North America, um, Asia, um, a hugely diverse international body of students, many from former Soviet countries, we have from Russia, from uh, Ukraine, from Georgia, etc, etc. Really interesting uh, for your studies. In the second semester, everybody moves to the University of Glasgow. And here you start to diversify your interests. We have four tracks, Russian studies, Western Balkan studies, East, uh, Eurasian studies and Central and East European studies. And these depend on your language choices and also your dissertation research topic and where you want to take that. And of course, that helps determine where you go for semester three. The languages we offer are Russian, Czech, Polish, Hungarian. When you go to your third mobility university, you also have the choice to do the language of the country in which you study. So Polish, Hungarian, Georgian, um, Kazakh, uh, Bosnian or Russian. So a very diverse degree, a very challenging degree. Sometimes it's the very structure of the degree that is uh, actually the most rewarding part of it. But also academically, because you get to specialize in the area that interests you uh, and you increasingly specialize so that the, the knowledge starts quite broadly in Tartu, but becomes quite narrow by the time you get to your third mobility university. And then you have regional specialists uh, who have specialism in the specific country that you study. This hopefully means that your dissertation can be uh, really uh, in depth. I don't want to take up more of your time uh, explaining the degree right now. I recommend you have a look at our website, look at the structure of the, of the program, see the types of courses that are available, including things like work placements. Every student uh, has, uh, is able to pursue a work placement in the third mobility country in which they study. We find that this is a really important way to not only improve academic knowledge, but also improve um, concrete experience, work experience in the region. I should just say that we would be delighted if you came as, to apply to study with us. Uh, the degree, as I say, is a great challenge, but has huge rewards. And over the years, we've had some exceptionally interesting, intelligent, uh, students who've gone on to do really interesting things. Many have gone on to work for the governments of their various countries, NGOs, journalism, in the private sector, of course. Um, students have generally done very well. And I think it's the very nature of the international element of the degree that makes it so successful in this respect. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is on the next slide and I hope to be able to answer them. And who knows, maybe we'll see each other uh, in the not too distant future. Thank you very much. Erasmus Mundus International Master in Central and East European Russian and Eurasian Studies was implemented in the university in 2017. And before that, University of Lubachevsky has already successfully participated in many projects of the TASIS, Tempus and Erasmus programs. Tempus project, European Neighborhood Policy Law and Good Governance, unique, was aimed to develop and implement a new interdisciplinary practice-oriented master program in English at the University of Lubachevsky. Erasmus Mobility Programs, Iranet Mundus, Euro-Russian Academic Network, and Iranet Plus, Euro-Russian Academic Network Plus, provided for academic mobility of students, bachelors and masters, graduate students uh, from Russian universities to European universities. The EMA series program 
has incorporated the best of results of these programs and has become an interdisciplinary program implemented at the Faculty of Social Sciences of the Lobachevsky University. Lobachevsky University trains foreign participants in the English language interdisciplinary master's program, Sociology of Politics and International Relations. The program is the part of the international scientific and educational project in the field of Central, Eastern European, Russian and Eurasian studies. An unique international master's program implemented by a consortium of universities led by the University of Glasgow, UK, and the University of Tartu, Estonia, under the Erasmus Mundus International Program Master since 2017. Lobachevsky University has become a member of this consortium of leading European universities as a full partner. Successful defense of a master thesis entitles foreign students to receive a diploma from Lobachevsky University, which will uh, become the third document of higher education after diplomas from the University of Glasgow and the University of Tartu. In 2019, six students from the USA, France, Sweden, Great Britain, and Poland completed semester at the University of Tartu, Estonia, and the semester at the University of Glasgow, UK, and then have chosen Lobachevsky University to complete their studies and defend their master thesis. Students were given the opportunity to undergo internships and practice in different organizations of Nizhny Novgorod's region. As a part of a program, students study Russian is one of the languages of specialization. The first group of students successfully completed their master thesis in the Sociology of Politics and International Relations program. Students of the program brought a new quality of communication into the atmosphere of the faculty, gathering the most qualified teachers around the program and provide a highly motivated view on the, their scientific works. All the students are highly motivated to participate in classes and practice. They always actively discuss the details of the learning process and effectively build the new educational trajectory. I have taught the course Cultural Studies and as a part of the Open Lectures program at the University of Tartu before the arrivals uh, of this group uh, at the University of Lobachevsky. And so highly interested students responding with challenging and involved in the process of developing new competencies. It was nice to hear kind assessment of my course and to achieve students who are ready to write the master thesis under my guidance on the topics of uh, participating of religious organization in the social life of various societies in Eurasia. Within the framework of a program, Lobachevsky University offers unique educational courses and key practice sites in the Nizhny Novgorod region, ministries, city and regional administrations, socially oriented non-profit organizations, and association of industrialists and entrepreneurship. We are very welcome all the students to our university and the program of sociology of politics and international relations. My own research interests are politics, international relations and Russia, of course. Um, for me, I think if you want to probably understand a country and a culture, then you need to live in that culture. Um, you live in that country, experience the culture and really try to immerse yourself as much as possible, which is why I really wanted to come to Russia. Uh, the University of Glasgow created a partnership with the University of Lobachevsky and I'm currently studying in the Faculty of Social Sciences. We study here a mix of courses 
uh, from sociology to politics and of course Russian language and I'm really really trying to um, practice Russian so that by the end of the year I'm fluent um, and able to speak to all of my new friends in Russian. I love the city Nizhny Novgorod. Um, my favourite area is around the Kremlin, so in the old town. The architecture I think is really beautiful. Um, sometimes you might forget that you're in Russia, it, it could be in any city <laughs> somewhere in the world. Um, but I find the city itself, it has a really interesting story, a really interesting history. It's been a really great experience to be in this city, I've really enjoyed it. I came to Russia because I'm in an international master's program. Uh, it's hosted by University of Glasgow uh, and it's focused on the post-Soviet uh, states. And since my main interest is uh, Russia, uh, I decided to come here to Lobachevsky. Um, I would say that the best thing uh, with my studies here is the variety of courses that we're taking. I'm taking courses in uh, global economies and international relations, but also in sociology, which are two very different subjects, and also being in Nizhny Novgorod and uh, uh, being in Russia. That's the best part. Russians here in Nizhny are very polite, they're very uh, kind and helpful, and um, wants to spend time with me and help me. My goal is to become a specialist uh, in Russian studies uh, or on, on Russia as a country in general. I don't know yet what exactly I want to do. Uh, if I want to become like an analyst or a diplomat or just like working with social questions in Russia, uh, but they definitely help me.